Yo, this is Michael Kaye, the funniest man on the planet, and I'm with Shake the Building. All right, what's back? we back, man. I got a legend in the building right now, uh, Mr. Michael Kaye. How you doing today? Man, I'm supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. How you doing? I'm good. How, so how's the ATL treating you so far? Like, like love, like like one of his favorite children. I mean, every time I come, the ATL treats me with love. They show up, they come to the shows. Even on the streets, they support me. You know, as I'm moving about, I really love this town. So. They treat me like everybody in the world treat me like love. Okay, so so what's something memorable uh, from when you come to the city? Anything specific you like to do or places? Man, you know, I was blown away by the auto spa. It's actually, it's it's a gas station on, I think it's ninth, either 9th or 14th on Peachtree. It's a car wash, but they have an elegant restaurant in the car wash. I'm like, wait a minute. My man took me, Baller, Baller took me over there. He said, man, after the show, I'm going to take you for breakfast. So we pull up. I'm like, bro, this the car wash. He said, yeah, I know. I said, but you told me he's taking me to breakfast. He said, yeah, it's right here. I said, no, no, this is a car wash. He said, man, you got to come with me. And then you go inside. And it's a nice uh, 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 tablecloths and crystal and china. And it's a glass bar. And they serve steak and eggs and grits. I was blown away. So I like to go there sometime and eat. It's really, really cool. Uh, but I just love this city, the people in this city, the flavor of the people. Black people here really like being black. You know, you'll be surprised how many cities where black people try to hide from their blackness. You know what I'm saying? And here I actually run into, I run into some real black men. You know, black men are rare. Niggas, niggas everywhere. You can open the glove compartment of your car and four niggas will fall out. But black men, men who have integrity for their community, for their family, for their people, for their queen, for their God, are very rare indeed. I just love the flavor of Atlanta, and I love how much they treat me with the same type of love, man. That's what's up, man. I'm glad, glad to have you here. So you, uh, you got one of the most familiar faces, <laughs> you know, throughout the years. Of course, we all know you. Mm -hmm. uh, but one of the most memorable uh, roles that you played was Gina's boss, Paul Martin. Mr. Whitaker. So uh -huh. Talk about that experience and just like from how did you get the role and what was it like? Well, like most people, I audition just like everybody else. I just auditioned. I don't remember the audition, but I must have did OK because I got the job. So I probably did about seven episodes throughout the seasons of shows, but they was always prominent. It was always funny. I think the most important one of one they run over and over that people love is the time that um, she got her head caught in the head board in the bed. And she had to come to the office because she couldn't get it off and she couldn't, she couldn't uh, miss the meeting. So she just took a big old cloth and walks in with this big old, um, the headboard to be on it. It's a very funny scene, you know. Uh, There's another scene in there they like too, when he had a bad back. Martin had a bad back. He could barely walk because his back hurt. Then I walked by to congratulate him and slap him on his back, you know. So... It was just a wonderful thing to work with Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence is a genius. That whole staff and crew is one of the best sets I've ever been on, was working with them, you know? And I understand they might come back, but don't nobody ever call me when they come back. You know what I'm saying? They do a best of, uh, ain't heard from nobody. They just celebrated that show. They ain't even mentioned me. They invited people who had been on the show one time. I ain't even heard from them now. I understand they're about to release, somebody about to release a new house party. How could they have a house party without showboats? I, I'm still trying to get over the show called The Kings of Comedy. How did they have a show called The Kings of Comedy without the king? Anyway, that's another story. Hey, if your folks are following this at all, they should come to my morning show five days a week. Just look me up, the Michael Kaya Morning Show, or catch my podcast, Michael Talks to Everybody, and you'll see what I'm doing. Check out my new album, my comedy album. It's me sitting on the toilet. And it's called Let Me Drop This On You. And also, man, um, I'm just like San Juan Fair. I'm everywhere. I'm easy to find. Michael underscore Kalia. DM me and send me some love.